The Senate trial for the impeachment of President Donald J. Trump is underway. So how did we get here? This is a timeline of how it happened. This story begins with a phone call on July 25, 2019, between Trump and Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky. The U.S. House alleges Trump froze a $400 million military aid package to obtain a quid pro quo cooperation from Zelensky for political gain. In August, a whistleblower would file a complaint about the call. The impeachment inquiry officially kicked off on September 24, 2019, when Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi announced the House of Representatives was opening up an inquiry. In the fall, several congressional committees would depose dozens of witnesses behind these closed doors in the basement of the Capitol. On October 13th, the U.S. House passes a resolution setting the procedures for public impeachment hearings. Let's be clear, what you just described is a quid pro quo. It is funding will not flow unless the investigation into the, into the Democratic server uh, happened as well. We, we, do, we do that all the time with foreign policy. In November, the public would begin to hear from the witnesses deposed in the basement of the Capitol in public hearings. On December 10th, 2019, the House Judiciary Committee announced two charges against President Donald J. Trump. They are obstruction of justice and abuse of power. Republicans believe there is not enough evidence for these charges. On December 18th, 2019, the United States House of Representatives passes two articles of impeachment against President Donald J. Trump. The vote was largely along partisan lines. Article 2 is adopted. Trump becomes only the third president in American history to be impeached. Now, traditionally, at this point, the articles would then head right over to the Senate. But Speaker Pelosi took the unusual step to withhold transmitting the articles of impeachment. Her goal was to have influence in the rules of the Senate trial. But on January 14th, she announced the House would vote to send the articles to the Senate. The next day, the U.S. House of Representatives votes to approve sending the articles of impeachment across the Capitol to the Senate. The hour of 12 noon having arrived and a quorum being present, the Sergeant at Arms will present the managers on the part of the House of Representatives. Mr. President and members of the I announce the presence of the managers on the part of the House of Representatives to conduct proceedings on behalf of the House concerning the impeachment of Donald John Trump. With the permission of the Senate, I will now read the Articles of Impeachment, House Resolution 755. House Resolution 755. Impeaching Donald John Trump, President of the United States, for high crimes and misdemeanors. At 2 o'clock today, the Senate will proceed to the consideration of the Articles of Impeachment. The Chief Justice of the United States will preside over the trial as required in Article 1, Section 3, Clause 6 of the United States Constitution. U.S. Supreme Court Chief Justice John Roberts arrives at the Capitol on Thursday to swear in all 100 senators as jurors in the Senate trial. You will do impartial justice according to the Constitution and laws, so help you God. The trial is expected to get underway on Tuesday.